We're hearing from the father of a teenager who reported being raped by several San Diego State football players last year during an off-campus party. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. I'm Marcella Lee. CBS 8's David Gottfordson first spoke with the teenager last month. Today, her father says he reported the incident to university police and officers were well aware of the party house where the alleged rape took place. We've gone through a lot of counseling, a lot of sleepless nights. It's been 10 months since the father of a then high school senior got the worst news of his life. His 17-year-old daughter reported being raped by several San Diego State football players on October 16th at this off-campus house. The girl had been drinking and doesn't remember a lot of the details. Obviously, any child underage drinking is doing something that they shouldn't be doing. And, you know, my, my daughter made a poor choice, but the punishment for underage drinking and going to a college party is not getting gang raped by five football players. The father, who we are not identifying, said he was pleased to find out last week that San Diego police detectives have handed off the case to the district attorney's office for possible criminal charges. But he says San Diego State University should have acted sooner. I also know that when I had reported this to the San Diego State Police Department, they were well aware of the house and all of its history. CBS 8 recorded this video of a party at the house in 2020, and public records revealed San Diego police were called to the house for loud parties three times in 2021, prior to the alleged rape. Well, it's disappointing that the public is making calls to try and keep their neighborhood safe and that the police were either unable to get there in a timely fashion or unable to go at all. Despite the party history, the house was never flagged under a San Diego police program called CAP, where property owners can be fined $1,000 per party for underage drinking. The father says he has to wonder if there are any other victims out there. I don't think that this was an isolated incident, particularly at this house. I don't think that the, the type of event that happened with my daughter just happens spontaneously. I'm sure that these gentlemen probably had some sort of prior with this, and they're probably subsequently continuing that same behavior. There's been no consequences from any legal standpoint, from the university standpoint. So why would they think that there's any consequence to their action? Why wouldn't they do it again? Now, San Diego State says they held off on investigating the students who may be involved in this incident at the request of the San Diego Police Department. The university can expel students for criminal behavior or policy violations. San Diego State began its investigation on July 22nd. David, we know the investigation has been handed over to the district attorney's office. How long until the DA makes a decision on whether to file criminal charges? I messaged the DA and asked them that question, how long until a decision is made, but they will not comment on that process at this point. A legal expert told me if they directly file charges, it could take a couple weeks, or if they decide to go through a grand jury, it could take months. David Gofferson, we know you'll bring me more on this case as it develops. Thanks, David.